Hi, welcome to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis, and this is Miss Jeannie. Now, I got a Timu haul, so kind of want to show you what I got. Um, some of the stuff I'm going to be using. So let me get you down, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, what I'm going to do today, and it may not be the only thing I do. Let me get these out of the way so you can see. I have a little carousel, a little carousel with little horses. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that one. Here's the little horses. I got that from Timu and the little thing that holds the carousel together. Okay. Then I got. A cogs mold because I like steampunk and I kind of wanted to make some of my own it's a little bigger than I they're a little bigger than I thought they would be but I'm okay with that and I did buy some cogs I got some gold ones and I got some silver that were already in bags. I got those. I got two of these fans because I kind of like them. Here's that one. And here's this. Let me get it where you can see it. And here's this one. I kind of like those. I got uh, two welcome signs. Thought they were cute. And I got this miscellaneous shapes for pendants. So we'll be doing some of those. Also got some little I don't know if you can see them very well in the bag. Let me pull maybe a couple out. Some out of the bag. They're little metal roses. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but I thought they were really cute. So I thought, well, I could put them in a mold or make some earrings for my granddaughters they got a hole in the back of them so you could put a post in the back of them pretty easily I thought they were really cute so I got those I'm gonna do something with those got some washi tape um, I've seen a lot of people use the washi tape but I don't you know I haven't really thought about it yet, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to use it for. But I got the <coughs> solar washi tape. Kind of thought it was cool. And then I got this one with flower prints on it. I like both of those. So, that was kind of part of my uh, Timu haul. I got some little spoons with the mixing end on it. Got some of those from Timu. A new silicone cup that came with two little silicone cups. So, you know, I got some more stuff coming from Timu, so we'll see how it goes. I picked out different colors because I kind of want to do, I got one pipette, but I'm going to have to get some more because I watched a lady make this. Of course, I don't have a light set to put in it like she did, but, um, so I'm going to make the horses in different colors and I probably better get me some more little pipettes out because that's how I'm going to fill them. I'm not going to. 
She didn't pour, she did pour hers, but she under poured them. And when she under poured them, she didn't have any problems getting them in the mold. And that's kind of what I want to do. I don't want to have any problems getting it in the mold. So this may be that, may be a fairly short video. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna pour this. I hadn't been busy all week doing really nothing. <laughs> And I should have been doing videos, but yeah, I put four up last week. So yeah, I need to get busy and get some more up. Um, I didn't do the dragons. And you know what? If anybody is, I mean, I know I have a lot. I have some subscribers that really love dragons as much as I do. And I have two new dragon molds that I did, but I didn't video them because I don't want to burn everybody out on just doing dragons. Now, I could show you the dragons that I did. I may do another, I may do a video with them in the video. Um, you know, if you guys want to see me do these dragons, then, you know, let me know and I'll do them. On video but these are the ones I just did this one Wanda loves because it has it has the skull in it and there's the dragon and the skull and if you want to see a closer look of it um, I have a picture posted on TikTok and one posted on Instagram there's that one. They're going to be wall hangings. I did order some hardware to stick on the back of them so you could hang them. Here's this one. It's a shield with two dragons. And that's the other one I did. Now, if you want to see them, just drop me a comment down below and I'll do a video on them so you can see them. But kind of thought everybody might be getting a little burnout on dragons. I also got, um, I don't know, at least five molds of gnomes, which I've done two, I think, in one of my videos just because I needed to pour, I had extra resin, I needed to do them, so I did. But I have about five different ones that I could do. But, you know, just drop me a comment down below and let me know if that if you're interested in that. Um, and we'll do it. I don't have a problem doing it. I just didn't want to burn everybody out on always doing dragons. Because I love doing dragons and I actually have. It will be a video. That one probably, I don't know whether anybody's going to enjoy it or not. But I have a mold that I poured made the silicone rubber mold for of a dragon skull and I am going to pour that one on a video um, it's big it's big guys <laughs> it's like go big or go home and I went big so yes I will be doing that one probably on um, my next video because I kind of want to I want to see how it turned out I made it this is my second attempt of making the mold. The first one didn't turn out so hot. So, we'll see how this one turns out. Could be a fail. Might be good. Who knows? But I'm going to jump off of here real quick, mix up some resin, and we'll be back and start pouring this carousel. Alright, I got my resin mixed up, so I'm going to get you down. I'm going to use two different colors. I decided not to go with several colors because it's too much of a hassle. And I'm going to have a hard time pouring these little horses anyway. Because the lady I watched under poured them, and i got to hope that I can do the same so they fit in there easy. But let me get you down. What I'm going to use is I'm using Lutz resin. I've got... Uh, before our Let's Resin Fast Cure, which is really bubbly because it's cold down here. 
But what I'm going to do is pour part of it off for the horses because I want to make them a different color than what I'm going to make the base. So let me get a paper towel here to let my stick on so I don't get it everywhere. Not that I won't be a messy person because I am messy. <laughs> and everybody knows that. I don't know how much the horses are going to take, but I would imagine they won't take very much. But I'm going to pour about... Mm, I may have to mix more up. I may have... But I got this about... I got about 40 in it, so that's probably more than enough for those. So I'm going to mix some Cerulean, Let's Resin Cerulean Blue, because I kind of want that to be transparent. So I don't want to put a bunch of blue in it. Uh, and I don't know, here lately, I don't know if it's because these are kept down here in my basement or what, but I've really been having a hard time getting the alcohol ink to mix with the epoxy. And I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to want to mix all the way. I don't want any, any yeah, see, I kind of thought that'd be a little different blue. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm not going to go up there and try and find another blue to use. I actually thought that was a bluer blue. Looks more like a teal. Probably should have just got that Baja blue and, and pinata and used it. But I watched the lady do this. Of course, she put, like I said, she put lights in hers. And I don't have any of those little light sets. So I'm just going to put mine on one of those little lights and with the little remote and set it up that way. I think that'll work just fine. All right, that's about as mixed as it's going to get. So, before I do that, let me give a squirt here. Got a whining little brat upstairs. All right, oh. Trying to, trying to avoid bubbles here, and I'm trying to make sure because my mat's kind of bowed, and make sure that I'm setting these where they're level. I don't know if they are or not, but we'll see. Hoping pouring that alcohol in there will help. Hope I got enough mixed up. Not sure I do. And I better slow down because it looks like it's unlevel. Yep, I see it. Move these horses out of the way because that's <coughs> unlevel as heck. Man, I'm trying to move it where it is a little more level. A stick under it. Nope, you're still not not gonna do it, are you? Yeah, that looks better. Yeah. At least it's not trying to run over. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this right here. I know that's probably not where you could see it, but oh, you whiny baby. Poor baby. Poor little baby. No wine tit. Yep. You just poor little baby. 
He doesn't like it. But he won't come down the stairs. I'm not sure this one's level either. One side looks a little... That's okay. If I got a little oil pour, I can, I can deal with that. Not worried about that too much. More worried about over pouring something else. Although, I might end up making my little stem a different color now, because I don't have enough in here to pour it in the right color. Baby. I, I don't think I don't know that they can hear him, but he is up there throwing a little fit. All right, that's that. I'm gonna have to pour that in yellow, I think, because that's what I'm gonna mix this color in for the horses. Yeah, if I don't wear a bunch of it. God, how'd the lid get? Yeah, how'd the lid get loose like that? Yeah, it went spraying everywhere. It's all over my gloves. I don't know how that happened. All right. Let's get some yellow mixed in there. Put the lid on that paper towel. I think the stem, I'll pour the stem first so I can make sure I have enough here. Make sure that yellow gets mixed up good. What are you looking for? Oh, nothing. I dropped a paper towel. Okay, let's pour this thing first. Watch me. My luck, I'll get it poured almost to the top and it'll tip over. <laughs> it just would be my luck. All right, I do think, however, I want to set that somewhere else. Because I'm not sure that it's set in real level. Okay. And I need to move some other stuff around, too. Let's set that there. I'm going to move this. Try and move it up there. Make sure it's level. It doesn't look it. Darn it. I should have left it where it was. Okay. Get these little horses spread out so I can get them. And I gotta be careful because I'm not good at pouring little items. Well, I'll try and do it this way, hopefully. If I can control the flow. I mean, I know she didn't pour hers all the way full. And I'm going to try and do the same thing she did, because she said they fit right in there. Without any problem, and they fit in there snug. So... I underpour them some. I underpour them some. If 
Pebble's still down here, or did she go back up? No, she's in the corner over there in the chair. <laughs> He's just so jealous. So jealous. You'd think he'd just come down here. chicken. At least Miss Pebbles has got some guts. Yeah. She ain't scared of those stairs. I know the big dogs come down. Yeah, big dogs are all scared of the stairs. It's fun. Go down a bit. Tornado time? Yeah, you better hope we don't have any while you're here. Don't even say something like that. Because <laughs> you know how much fun it's going to be trying to get them down the stairs? Yep. And Miss Sheba too? Yep. Does she go down the stairs at home? No, just the... Uh, not downstairs. No, not downstairs, just the back porch. Or the back porch. Yeah, see, I don't understand that. I have probably, you now probably half the stairs. Yeah, I think I overpoured that one. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Well, I didn't mean to, but I did over pour it and I definitely don't want it to I don't care I'll scrape it out on the mat or scrape it into the other one I just need to get some out of it because I definitely over poured And I don't want to have to fight trying to... This thing's just not really good at scraping. <laughs> not good at scraping. I can scrape better with this one. Oh, come on, you big baby. I might even have to use a, that pipette suck some out of there. Might be an easier way to do it for me. It's got, oh, it's got too much in it. That looks better. went a little too crazy on that one. The others look fine. It's just that one was too full. Let's try and get this one without over pouring it too. Well, I do have some. I don't know that it's enough to do anything with, but you can pour it in something over there. It's just the right way. Yeah, but I wouldn't pour that. Okay, well, you let's don't. See. There's not even half enough to do that. I do the lid. Well, it's going to be two different colors. That's okay. Who cares? You're talking you, about your. Do you care? Which lid are you talking about? The dog lid. Okay. <laughs> Do you care? No. Because you don't care if no. it's two different colors. No. See? So. And haven't helped anybody else that worries about it. Yeah, of course there's not enough in there to squeeze it out. <laughs> I did get some out of there, though. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Give you for effort. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Although, I don't know how to fix that one. So it's, I mean, it, 
flux level, but I'm afraid as soon as I hit it with that alcohol, which I don't really want to do. It's going to... Yeah, I'd kind of like to hit it with the heat and see if I can get some of the air bubbles out. Sorry about the noise, guys. Trying to pop some of those micro bubbles. There seem to be a lot in there. Oh, and, oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you all this. This little um, mold here is off a of Timu also, and of course. I do not have a coupon code, so because I'm not a big enough YouTuber yet, so I would say there's somebody who does have one, I'm sure. Try Miss Wanda with Wanda's Blessed Creations. She has one. I think she has a coupon code for Timu. I'm just trying to get all these. I don't want it to be. I don't care if it has some micro bubbles. I just don't want it to be totally filled with micro bubbles. Bubbles out of it because there's a lot. Okay, well, for our too, too thin of a mold for me to. I thought I might drop a little bit of uh, pinata, Jacquard pinata rich gold in there. I might. See what happens because that's not exactly the color I wanted that to be so let's see what happens Let it set up a little bit and then maybe, oh, this is one of those that has the stupid little ball in it.
do a little, maybe a little swirl. do the horses. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave them yellow. I may hit the front of them with some gold. They have like little circles on the front of them. I'm thinking I might hit it with some gold. Now what I need is my little thing to swirl with here. I'm just going to swirl it and see what happens. I waited too late to put the gold in there. Not sure it's going to swirl in. Hopefully it'll have some kind of gold in it. And I'm going to just put it on the light anyway. I hope I don't have any little bubbles down there. In the little tip. Just poke it down in there and see. Yeah, you know one thing I forgot to hit with that heat gun was that little Let me hit that real quick. I forgot it. I get the air bubbles to come up. Just by heating the mold a little bit, hoping it will help. There's a lot of air bubbles in it, a lot of micro bubbles. less bubbles than there was. Alrighty. Well, I guess we will we will probably see you in the morning because I don't think we'll probably come back down tonight to finish them. But we'll see you on the morning. Alright. Let's get this carousel put together. So I'm going to bring you down and demold it. Alright, I don't think the gold went through. I think I should have did it earlier. I don't know if it will drop through. But I kind of wanted it clear anyway because I'm going to set it on one of those little turning light, or lights that lights up different colors. Okay. Those are all pulled out. I just got to get this set around. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty gold back there. Some gold did drop through. And it needs a little trim. There's that part. Here's the top. It needs a trim too. Just a little bit with the deburring tool. Which is probably upstairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it did drop a little gold right in the tip. That's yeah, cute. It's yeah. it's kind of what I wanted it to be. I kind of wanted it to be see-through. 
so the light will shine through it. Now here's all the little horses, which I'm hoping I didn't over pour too badly. So they'll fit in these little slots and the little pole that goes in the center that holds them together, which that lady seemed to get out pretty easily by rolling it down. We'll see. I might have to squirt some alcohol down in there. Maybe, maybe not. It's rolling pretty easy. Just keep rolling it. I don't want to roll it inside out, but I thought if I turned it in there, I could break it loose. It's not really. pretty thin. I don't want to mangle it up. And my chrome markers are upstairs too. What? My markers. Oh, I can yeah. always do it later. Okay. I'm just going to put some silver or gold in there. Probably gold since I put gold in the know that I didn't under pour it enough. <clears throat> I need one of those little turning lights is what I need. That lights up in different colors it turns. Everything's demolded. Um, this should fit in there, hopefully. Should. Does that way. Okay. If these fit pretty snugly, I don't know that I will glue them. See, that one's not very snug. So I may have to glue it. I don't want to glue it until I color the front of the little horses. Uh, this one's just a little bit over poured, I think. It's going to fit in there tightly. And I don't know that it's going all the way down like it's supposed to. Yeah, looks like it. I don't know if I'm going to glue it together yet. And there's your top. I need to trim it before I glue it. But that's how it goes together. It's pretty cute. For being as little. You need to stay tuned for the next one because I'm going to do my huge dragon skull. And I think I will go ahead and do my dragon shield again too. So you'll get a 
two dragon thing, two dragon pours. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to trim this first before I glue it, but I think it turned out really cute. Yes. Let's, I don't know if I can lift it up enough so you can actually see it. fit together really easily and I will glue it after I trim it and I want to hit the little circles on the horse with some gold and I might glue them in I don't know they fit in some fit real snugly and some are a little loose so I'll probably just go ahead and glue it but I think that turned out really cute um, if you like it, like and subscribe. Please drop me some comments because I'm getting a lot of new subscribers, which thank you all for subscribing. Uh, I hope you like the channel. Um, if there's something you'd like to see me do, just let me know and I'll try it. Um, I also, um, I just seem to get I've gotten a lot of new subscribers because I've been advertising on Instagram and TikTok and showing my photos over there. So thank you for subscribing. Please like and comment. Um, I need to do my shout out list, which is Wanda's Blessed Creations, Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat. Check out her mugs. Cabbage Patch Soap. Res C. Liz, India Brady Art, Art by Me, Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol Creations, Sam I Am Resin Art, uh, Claire's Crafty Corner, Paranormal Girl, and Marvelous Artsy. Until the next video, see ya! Bye!